so we visited this place on our last day in Sicily. We never heard about it before. We find it accidentally on Google Maps. I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce it right, but I'm going to try anyway. Il Castello in Santato. Excuse me for my voice. I've got a bit of a sore throat today. Personally, I did find this place a little bit creepy. There are hundreds or thousands of carved stone faces all over the place. So the artist called Filippo Bentivegna, hopefully I just pronounced his name right. He was born in 1888 in a very poor family. He couldn't go to school. Uh, served in the Navy for a while and ended up in the US, in America, in 1908, when he was 20 years old. So long story short, he fell in love with a girl and the rival of his love beat him up really bad and that kind of traumatized him for the rest of his life. He continued to work and saved up enough money uh, to eventually come back home and buy this olive tree farm for himself. He started carving these stone faces by the hundreds, as you can see. He did some carving on the trees as well and some paintwork, as you will see in this building right here. I don't know much about art myself, so I can't really judge this. Let me know what you think in the comment section.
So there is a number of these caves in the hillside. I think it's pretty obvious that he was uh, mining the stone from here to make the carvings. I don't know if you agree, but I think it does look a little bit creepy. Eventually, Philippos' health started to slowly decline. He died in 1967 at the age of 78 years old.